Hi and welcome. We are here in front of the Faculty of Architecture at the TU Delft. And um, my name is Marcel Bilo and I'm next to Nadia Remershal. And the two of us, we are running the Bucky Lab. It's a course we do within our master program in which we teach students to develop ideas and solutions for current problems. And we do this step by step. Nadia. Yes, so this year we invited Goa to collaborate with us. They asked us to find nice solutions for their secure meeting rooms. And we use uh, the Bucky Lab as a think tank for students to experiment uh, and think a little bit about the problems, come up with solutions uh, and also to actually build them in the end. Yeah, and we will guide you a little bit along within our vlog. We show you the various steps our students are doing, how they're doing it. And we will meet each other in the mobile workshop where we actually build the ideas. Unfortunately, our semester still runs three more weeks, so therefore be patient. You will see and we will publish the ideas later. Bye. See ya. Now we're here in Utrecht visiting a asylum seeker center. Over there, we have sat together with various employees and experts from COA. We got to know what the center is doing and where their problems are. Especially our task in order to find a good solution for their meeting rooms, we have been able to visit these different locations. So first the usual meeting rooms, but followed by the secure meeting rooms, our focus for this semester. So we've been able to have a look around and try to find and understand what's going on. After a short lunch break, which was quite nice, the weather was fine, we had back into the studio and got various lectures from, in, from for instance, here, the COAS architect who back then designed the table and the furniture for these secure meeting rooms, but also by experts who are dealing with color, for instance, in these centers. So now we are here in Utrecht, visit an asylum seeker center, and next to me is Toby from the COA and uh, maybe a short introduction about yourself and what are you looking for? Yes, I'm Toby Vermeulen. I'm uh, working at COA and we're, today we're here with the students and you, of course, to have a look at the meeting rooms we have and to see if we can improve the furniture we have there to make them more safe and more environmentally friendly. Challenge accepted. Back in the studio in Delft, we listened to a couple of more lectures about environmental psychology. We met experts from our faculty ourselves, and we also had online meetings with former students who are also busy within the topic of environmental psychology to get the best out of our designs. So today, these 21 students will explain their ideas and they will show what they have come up to. That was the elevator pitch and now the students sitting together and uh, discussing which ideas to pick to continue. The students standing over there discussing their ideas which will be chosen to continue in order to yeah, find the best ideas to proceed with. And now groups are formed and they're developing the best ideas forward. <laughs> Um, so, the first time we visited COA, one thing we noticed quite immediately was that the table takes up almost the whole length of the room and this was something that we believed creates distrust before even starting the conversation. Uh, that's why we decided to design a new table that has an irregular shape. Uh, tabletop so the conversationalist can pick how close they want to sit to each other uh, and creates um, a personal space or more of a distance for safety. So we basically um, had a look at the screen in the room and at the moment it's this division that can't be moved at all so you have no option but to use it and we kind of wanted to remove this barrier and just understand that it is necessary to have it for certain conversations but not for every meeting and um, so we had this idea where you have this kind of frame maybe on the wall behind this could be a picture so it looks like just a picture frame and not in use but for those meetings where you need that extra bit of security you can um, pull out the frame and it extends um, into the protective barrier between uh, the two people. 
We discussed with the employees and they found that the main issue of the room is actually acoustics. And therefore we want to design a panel that's improving the overall acoustics of the meeting rooms for more clear and intimate conversations whilst at the same time aesthetically uplifting the atmosphere all within one element. So now we are here in our mobile workshop. The students are already busy building the prototypes and within the next couple of days they will be finished with one-to-one -one scale prototypes and smaller scale mock-ups of their ideas. Yes, it's very hot but the students are working very hard. Um, let me, let's take you into the workshop a little bit and show you what students are doing. Yep, let's go.